Is it wet here? <laughs> I don't know why, but I didn't go over there. <laughs> I know. I just, I'm confused at why there's a wet I don't spot. know. I don't know why it's wet. <laughs> Maybe Stormy was licking it. Was she in there? I don't know. She no. Didn't, yeah. I don't know why it's wet. Where is it? It's right there. It's uh -huh. just like a little spot. Yeah, I don't know. I know but, like, it didn't come from me. I mean, I walked over there and looked out the window, but I didn't. <laughs> not leaking. Oh, God. What if they, what if the leak guards had a little bit of the gel stuff in them? So, if, like, wetness, in, you know, yeah. came up against it, it would absorb? Cause those... No, because there's no way for the that stuff, the little beads, to be on the leak guards. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. how would it adhere? I'm saying, I'm saying, if they put them in there, if they manufactured it with them in, in it, in it, yeah, just like a couple along the way, because I don't think leak guards can stop any leaks. No, it does. Okay, huh? it does. I mean, not if it's like flooding. Yeah, I think, I think if it's like really just, slow, oh, okay, then it'll push it back toward the padding. Oh, that yeah, makes sense. I'm just making stuff up. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so diapered strip club. That would be my dream to go to one. I don't want to like own it or manage it because it would be so much work. Actually, I would. Okay, so I've thought about having a diapered strip club in my room at Capcom. Okay. So certified diaper checker changer. So you're changing yourself then. Certified. Oh, ow, that hurt. Ow, that really hurt. Certified ABDL. I was, I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna snap it on you and then oh. you just hit me instead. Oh, a pumpkin icon. That's a surprise. I know, I made that. Okay, so, All right. so, okay, so diaper strip club. I was going to have that at my room at CAFCON. Dude, that is a great idea because <laughs> it's just going to invite some playful, positive people who are there to have fun. Exactly. I mean, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, whoever the dancers were, they, they would be able to make their own rules. Like, hey, you can only touch me in this area, and that's okay, and whatever rules that they want. Where are the tips going to go? That's what I want to know. Where what? The tips, you know, they when they slide the oh, dollar tips. bills. Yes. Tips into dips. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would go, I guess, in the diaper. Yeah, tips into dips. It would be wet. Well, you know, I guess you can get around it. Money dries. Yeah, you know, true. Money yeah. dries. Yeah, but, no, no one else has to know where that money's been. But that's going to be the funnest room on the funnest floor ever. I know. Oh my God, are you kidding? I don't even know how it would work. I like. Because it's so hard to get a suite at that hotel. Yeah. So, um, I can't have it in, like, a normal room. <laughs> there would be no room in there. Portable stripper poles. Some yeah. Some stripper glitter, uh, some music, and the and a disco ball, and you're set. Everything else will work itself out. Okay, I don't know about the glitter, because um, I would just stick to everything. <laughs> and get into, like, people's diapers. Strips and, and dips. Okay, yes, that's his idea. If, yeah. if there was a, a diapered strip club, strips and dips. So, how would it work? What city, like, if there was a permanent diapered strip club, what city would be best? Man. L.A. or that, New York? That's a good start, but Denver's a really hot spot right now. Like, everything just seems that's to be true. Denver. That's Florida true. Florida has a lot of cool strip clubs. Yeah. Um, I don't go to them, but I would go to this one. <laughs> I would. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't even care if a guy was up on the pole or a girl because it'd be diapers. It'd be my yeah. interest. And, yeah. And it'd be fun. Yeah. Everyone would be getting tipped. Okay, let's say we got a strip club to agree to do a diaper night yeah. like once a quarter or something. How? What would the rules be? Would there... I think you'd, uh, I think uh, the rules would be obviously consent, like no touching inside, just like a oh, regular, yeah. regular strip club. Yeah, and, and, totally. Uh, you know, you'd have to be really careful about bodily fluids getting on something else that somebody's going to, I mean, just hygiene, yeah. just basic hygiene without being gross. Um, yeah. But, you know. <gasps> 
Oh, I have experienced something like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, at Diaper Active one time, they had before COVID, they had go-go dancers dancing on the little stagey things. Oh wow! Diapered, but they weren't ABDL dancers. They were just regular dancers, like dance, diapered, and dancing. And I went up to this one guy, and I was like putting my face on his diaper. And it's, it leaked, and it like leaked a little bit on my face. I didn't care, but wow, <laughs> it was kind of hot. Music video. <laughs> There's a couple music videos with diaper dancers in it. Jane's Addiction. Really? Oh yeah, uh, Mountain Song. They have diaper go-go dancers up on the stage. Shut and up! I swear to God. Okay, yeah. everyone, look that up. Yep, Mountain Song, uh, Jane's Addiction, and Miley Cyrus, her oh, yeah. favorite talk song. Yeah. That's another one. And that Melanie Martinez one. I oh, yeah. Did they say that she might be a uh, ABDL? Yeah. Oh, she is, she is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, strips and dips, right? And the powder room. Oh. And for the bathroom name. <laughs> Definitely okay. have uh, a lot of special tool, special furniture there. Oh, yeah. Like changing tables and stuff. Um, um, play pens that are ball pits. Okay. You know? Would this be like on the stage? Have Both. Because there should be some props for the strippers to, to, to dance to different songs with props and stuff. That's a good idea. You know? Yeah. And then they can dress however they want. Like if they want to be totally AB, that's cool. If they want to be just DL and have some sexy lingerie. Yeah. Over, which that is would a, be really Which hot. is a really super hot look. I. I've seen a few pictures like that, and I just really think that's gorgeous. I vote for uniforms for the male dancers, <laughs> like a fireman uniform. That's and, not bias. <laughs> and a military uniform. I have the slogan and, for the firefighter. What? We find them hot and leave them wet. <laughs> <laughs> Badge number 69. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I will, like, happily buy this these uniforms and supplies. No surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a sailor one. Maybe with the police officers can oh, go shit. around and issue tickets for violations. Oh, what violations? I don't know. Maybe the diaper is not wet enough and you get a ticket. <laughs> if your diaper isn't wet by 11 p.m. Right. If it doesn't hit the fill line. There you go. What were you saying ooh about it? I know you had an idea there. You went ooh. No, I forgot now. Oh. I was hoping it wasn't the sailor suit. <laughs> I'm hiding mine in my closet. <laughs> I think Donnie has a sailor suit. Like we both do, yeah. Oh, our geez. dress blues, yeah. Oh, you mean your actual uniform? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're military, yeah. like that, I would request that. Can, can can I just make a confession here? Yeah. I wet. My uniform. <laughs> because the dress blues have 13 buttons on it. Okay. Right? It's not just like a, a regular boom button. Okay. It goes like this. Like it's a flap with 13 buttons. Seriously? I swear. That sounds like it's like one of those bibs. It is. Oh my and that's how it, how it goes down. So one day I had what? to go to the bathroom and I couldn't get the damn buttons uh, undone and I wet my uniform. Seriously? Yes. Like a lot or just a little A bit? lot. I was on watch. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. You wet your uniform. So you were standing in front of the urinal trying to get your buttons. Yes, done. and I couldn't get it done. And then you wet yourself? Yes. And then, so you had to go back out there? I had to go back out there. Did anyone notice or no? No, it was dark. It's like on the mid-watch from 12 midnight to oh. 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. And so it was dark, but it it was cold and I was uncomfortable. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. How far down the leg did it go? Oh, it, Pretty much all the way. I mean, Seriously? drinking coffee on watch, and I'm like, hey, I gotta go to the head, and, and then I couldn't get the buttons undone. Wow. If any other military folks or first responders have any wedding through uniform stories, please let me know. Yeah, th the 13 buttons is for the 13 original colonies. Okay. And that's why there's 13 buttons. Okay. We used to call them 13 buttons to hell because they're a pain in that yeah. ass to get undone. And yeah. Wow, that's a great story. <laughs> Not so. the time it wasn't. <laughs> um, well. I think we need a foam pit because, like, a little pit. soap and the foam. Remember, somebody was telling us about they're going to have a foam party 
and, and oh and yeah family. at the and, gay bar yeah, yeah. But, but like a phone like diapers and phone that'd probably be slippery um, i just think it'd be cool that one doesn't sound appealing to me what about bondage furniture like a spanking chair and a spanking frame yeah that would be hot and then people can do their own theme like yeah. the dancers like suspended uh bird cages you know, oh yeah like little for the go-go dancers like little cages wow that's like complex yeah. i mean that would be kind of hot but then they're so far away you can't touch them well they, they doesn't have to be <laughs> hanging in the air it could be you know oh okay yeah. i mean so with our fantasy strip club would it have a theme would it be like nursery themed or just like the way you were describing it with the bird cages, I'm thinking Midsummer Night's Dream. I was going for a more of like a erotic bondage type thing. Okay. But I think we'd alienate people if we didn't have touches of AD and yeah. touches of DL. Yes. And yeah. so that's why I said the playpen with the ball pit, because that kind of goes both, oh, you yeah. know. You totally. Know, and, uh, there could be some restraints here and there, and the strip yeah. holes and yeah. things. But um, yeah, and then everything else, like just the venue itself, is pretty adult. So yeah, uh. it's just a rad idea. It's a great idea. It is. So, would you be a dancer there, or would you be a patron? I want to be a dancer there because <laughs> I would want to be in in uniform or, uh -huh. or whatever I'm portraying and bring that story to life, bring that character to life. Like, you know, come over to the table and go, are you wet enough? And write a ticket or just <laughs> make the fantasy come alive or a firefighter, right. you know, yeah. and go, hey, what's the 911, what's your emergency? You know, and just make something up and get right. in on the fun. Yeah, you know? yeah, and participate that way. Um, I would want to be a patron. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no surprise there again. <laughs> <laughs> I want a place where I can go and just point and like search out the cutest diaper boys and be like, you! And then wave my 20 around or my ones or whatever because it really isn't a place for women to do that. Right. You want to check and change. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, now, so would the patrons pay to change the dancers? I or? think so. I think because you're doing something that's ultra personal to them and yeah. I think that you need to tip them accordingly. I'm not saying yeah. like out of the stratosphere of money but you need to just give a polite tip, tip. To, for that privilege or something because yeah I think so getting some extra there you know? yeah what do you think is a polite tip like a 20 40 I, I think 20 20 I, I think that's I, good I think 20 no two dollar bills wink wink you know for number two two dollar bills <laughs> <laughs> that's a code yeah <laughs> like you're holding up a two dollar bill saying like wink wink, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> will you mess for two dollars <laughs> Number oh, two to two, number one for one. Ooh, I, number three would be big money, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. If but they can only do number three. Like, um, girls can do number three more than once. Yeah, they can. So Lucky. Guys can't. No. So, no, I wouldn't want that. Unless it was an accident. I would want them to be, like, hard and turned on mm -hmm. the whole time they're dancing. Yeah. And not, like, they already came. Yeah. That's a killer idea, though. That would be just, yeah. That'd be one strip club that I would want to go to. <laughs> Should there be a diaper out, like in the, what do you call it, the sign? Oh, like yeah. Diaper. Strips yeah. and dips. Like, uh, like a, a diaper with the strip pole going through it. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Like a little sign. Yeah. yeah. That would be fun. be a fun icon. Now we're going to have to, now somebody's going to, like, create this from our idea and <laughs> we'll never see royalties from it so remember us if you strike it rich with this idea yeah like i'm not paying cover if i ever go there yeah yeah i'm not paying cover i get a free lap dance yeah it could be like diaper per night you know kind of like your name and the, the oh yeah thing, you know? that's a that's a good name for a, yeah. for a diaper night somewhere like a little vip area you know like a you know, the girls go back to those VIP rooms and stuff. Yeah. And maybe there'll be some changing supplies up there, like powder and things like that. You Ooh. Know. Okay. So what can I do to the dancers in the VIP room? I think anything that's legal. Like lots of grinding. Yeah. Like, that. like a diaper know. lap dance. Yeah. That'd be oh, yeah. pretty. Uh, I don't want to grope their diapers in the front. 
and um, put my face on it. What else? I had a uh, lap dance like years and years ago, mm-hmm. and the girl smelled like baby powder, and that was on my mind. Oh wow! Yeah, like it was just like I, that was what I was thinking about mm-hmm. because the baby powder just kind of triggered my memory into yeah. oh I know what this smell is and. So I think huh. diaper lap dances would be pretty hot. Yes. You know? Oh, I yeah. can only dream. Oh, dare to dream. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could still make it happen at Capcom. Yeah? Yeah. See, now I want to go to Capcom. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. And hopefully people dig this video and write down their ideas. That'd be kind of cool to see. Oh, yeah. Because there's clearly some things that we're going to miss that they could be like, hey, what about this? Yeah, uh, yeah. Give us some good names for your diaper strip club. What would it have on in it? What kind of cool props would you have on stage? Yeah, cover charge, maybe some gigantic oversized like high chairs to where oh, yeah. there are special shots are in them. Like you, you sit there in a diaper and you get a special shot in a baby bottle or something. Or at the oh, yellow yeah. you get like a... Like a shot glass, but it wouldn't be goo goo dancer, it'd be or not go go dancer, dancer, it'd be goo goo dancer. dancer. I said it backwards. <laughs> I love it. The goo goo dancer. Goo-goo. Yeah, I said it backwards, not go go dancer, goo goo <laughs> dancers. And the shot would be called goo goo juice. Yes. You know? Oh, yeah. Like a baby bottle shot yeah. or something like that. You have to be like in that high chair. To, yeah. to do that, that would be the signal. Oh, yeah, they would have to sit in the high chair to get right, the goo-goo to get, shot. to get the goo-goo shot, yeah. I love that. That's super hot. That, that would be, yeah, just have different <laughs> ones and, yeah. Yeah. But just, man, we could really liking these ideas now. I know. Might be doing this at Capcom, then we'd think of it uh, enough and come up with a solid plan. That's yeah. going to be the most popular room Wow. It would get so crowded. Yeah, it would. We would have to get like an actual room room and not in a hotel room. Because yeah. hotel rooms are too small. Like it yeah. would have to be a suite or something. Maybe even a DJ at that rate, you know? Oh, yeah, playing of course. music. Man, yeah. That's a killer idea. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you could even set that up in uh, like, you know, how you told me that they had different sections in the hotel mm-hmm. and where the vendor was, would be, but maybe like a room and we set it up during the day so it's ready to go that night. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say it's going to happen in the day because I'm sleepy at night <laughs> for us old people. Oh. Um, but that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. I think it's really fun. Like, we were just yeah. making this as a parody video, and now we're like, wow, yeah. this could even happen. Right. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to hear everybody else. If we're coming up with these ideas... Then we're going to be reading some really, really cool comments. These are all your good ideas. Like, I didn't come up with anything. I'm just the patron. Well, you came up with, with the idea <laughs> of the subject. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. 